Today we will be making a famous Chinese dish called maki. You will need one half cup of kikkoman soy sauce, two tablespoons of dark soy sauce, one egg white, one tablespoon brown sugar, one half tablespoon of black pepper, two cups of tapioca starch, 1.5 kilograms of pork tenderloin. Pour in the soy sauce. Massage the meat so that the meat will absorb the soy sauce. While mixing, add in the pepper as well. Add in the brown sugar and egg white. Add in 2 tablespoons of garlic. If you enjoy the taste of garlic, you can always add more. Add in your tapioca starch, 1 half cup at a time. If you want your meat to be chewier and firmer, you can add more starch. This will be the consistency of the meat. Mix one half cup of water and one half cup of tapioca starch in a bowl. Boil 15 cups of water in a pot and when it boils, add one half cup kikkoman soy sauce and one fourth cup dark soy sauce. If you don't have dark soy sauce, you can just add three fourth cup of kikkoman soy sauce. Add two to three tablespoons of oyster sauce. If you don't have oyster sauce, you can instead add one tablespoon of brown sugar. Also add your starch mixture. The reason why we put a little bit of starch at the beginning is because when you put in the meat, if there is no starch, the starch in the meat will just dissolve into the water. And the reason why we don't want to put too much is because then we can't boil it very intensely. When you've mixed all of those, start adding the meat one by one. In the video, we only used a half of the meat that we marinated. We kept the rest in the fridge. You can keep it in the fridge for one to two days. After adding all the meat, let it boil rapidly for 5 minutes. Prepare more starch mixture by mixing 1 cup of tapioca starch with 1 cup of water. Gradually mix in the starch mixture. Make sure to stir while adding it or else it will clump up. Add half of it first and check if you like the consistency. You can change this according to your taste if you want it to be thinner or thicker of the soup. Wait for it to boil and when it boils you can see the consistency. If you want it to be thicker, you can add more of the starch mixture. Afterwards, continue to boil it for another 10 minutes on medium-low heat. Don't forget to stir occasionally to prevent it from sticking to the bottom of the pot. Beat two eggs plus the egg yolk that was left over from the egg white used to marinate the pork. Drizzle the egg on top of the soup in a circular motion and do not stir the eggs until you have waited for 20 seconds or else the soup will become murky. After 20 seconds, the eggs have firmed up and 
If you want, you can add some green onions before you stir it. And now you know how to make delicious maki at home. You can eat it on its own, with noodles, or even with rice. If you had tried this recipe, comment down below how it went. We'd love to hear from you. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends so they can also enjoy the delicious maki. Thanks for watching and bye!